hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we have come with an interesting video where we will be monitoring websites with content and status so let's proceed the first slide is a very generic slide where we have defined some host definition and service definition we have used four directives one is host name alias address and use for host and service for host name service description check command and use and this way check http is a plugin that exists in the lib exec directory of nagios and this helps us to check whether the URL is reaching or not. So let me go back to the console. Here, if I change the directory to user local nagios leave exact and if I do check http help this will open a manual for us where you can go through what type of switches or flags we can use such as h for host i for ip address u for uri hyphen p for ports warning and critical timeout everything whatever switch of flags you can use and there is a note one or both of hyphen host and ip address to be specified in our current example we will be using hyphen s that is the string hyphen u that is the uri to get or post hyphen r that is the regex to look for a particular string so to look for a particular keyword in that uri we will be using hyphen r so this way we will do with creating the command so let me move ahead and create that command so I need to go to etc objects here I have the commands or cfg here I have defined the command name as check status command line as dollar user one dollar slash check http hyphen h host address and the rest of the arguments that we will specify in the check command section of the host and service definition let me open the service definition for the configuration file electronic16.cfg here we have defined the host name electronic16 use the template for linux server this is the address of the website electronic 16.wordpress.com the contact name contact groups as admins next is the service definition in the service definition we have used the check command as check status it contains the check http hyphen the host address then the arguments the arguments are is separated by a separator exclamation mark that is hyphen r that is the regex for user hyphen i the ip address the uri to follow is given then hyphen f to follow that link and hyphen hyphen ssl because it's an https website similarly in the next service description we have for java content we have written the check command as check status exclamation hyphen s string java then the same set of arguments we have specified 
once you did this step you need to do write and quit that is exclamation wq exclamation you need to verify the nagios that is similar user local nagios bin nagios hyphen verification user local nagios etc nagios.cfg and it will give you whether the configuration file have any errors or warnings that you need to fix but it's currently there are no warnings no errors so are good to proceed you need to restart the nagio service system ctl restart nagio once these steps are done you need to go ahead in your nagios console where you can see the services in the services i can see there is one configuration for the host electronic 16 that we have recently configured and if i do a view status detail it's showing that okay so this is the java content and this is the response time and uh, second one is the java status for that website is also this much bytes in this much second response time so go ahead and practice this so you can get a comprehensive idea so that's all in this video see you next time